Hello and good morning. It is Sunday in Brussels in Scarbeek and I am walking up toward Place Royale where they will have the start of the publicity caravan. That starts at 12. It's 10.15 now or maybe it's 12.30 but yesterday I got to all the stuff about two hours early and that was plenty of time to just walk around and be relaxed and find a good spot. So that's what I'm going to do. I think the high today is like 63 degrees Fahrenheit. I should have looked in Celsius. I keep telling myself I'm gonna learn Celsius. But anyway, it's about 63 degrees Fahrenheit. So I am certain that today I'm not going to regret my choice to wear jeans. I am so excited because the team buses are all parked at the paddocks today. We can see them all. Oh my gosh. Yay! That Craig sounds yummy. As cool as all of this is for us, I cannot imagine getting used to having to warm up in front of tons of people watching you. That would be so weird. It's a big ass screen. I definitely don't go into that much detail cleaning my leg. Maybe I should. are going to ride this time trial Merc style. That would be kind of awesome if they didn't care about how they did this. One of the mechanics on this team has stretched it on his elbow. I think that's rad that he's been riding bikes. <laughs> should have done pink and purple bikes. I know green's your color, but come on. Okay, Ted and Dan, I fought the crowd and got you hats. <laughs> The buses and stuff over in this area have a pretty good setup because they are able to kind of block their riders in with their two vehicles, whereas everyone down below, their riders are all exposed to the eye. Like I said, I just can't imagine warming up with hundreds of people watching me. It would just be weird, but I guess that's just part of being a pro at the tour. Everything, I'm sure, for a lot of these cyclists are living in 770 on millage uh, and, you know, living with six other dudes, eating ramen noodles a lot of the days and eating rice and beans to be on this tour. It's like, everything is weird, so, you know, it's rad.
cool to see. I was actually walking around wondering this morning, thinking it was only 11 o'clock and all the buses are here and they don't need to be on the trainers. If they're starting at around 3, they don't need to be on the trainers till 2.20, 2.30. So um, all the riders just got sort of bust in in the smaller team cars and now they're going onto the bus to hang out and chill and get ready and all the things to do before a bike race. Something is happening, I don't know what, but I'm walking fast to try to see it. The publicity caravan is scheduled to leave in one hour at 1 p.m. Um, but there's lots of riders headed in this direction on their team cars. Maybe it's like the first wave of people are pre-riding or they're getting introduced. I don't know. I have begun walking away from the main area. Look, more riders coming through. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it was supposed to be a pre-ride of the course or like a or something because they're not racing, obviously. Um, but yeah, I am walking away from the main area because the course looks really packed and I'm hoping to be able to find a spot to go watch. A couple of really good spots over there against the wall in the shade. However, I don't know if there will be a crossing point where I can get to that spot. Justin from Bragg, who you met yesterday in the video, was at the start line and took videos of all of the teams starting their time trial. So all the videos now that you see of the start line that are interlaced in here are all his videos that he shared with me to put in the video. So thanks, Justin. Um, if you're totally uninterested in seeing racers go by, then you can skip ahead a little ways. Um, but I think most of you, <laughs> this is kind of what you're here for if you're as much of a nerd about the stuff as I am. It was super, super, super cool, and enjoy! Le champ Ferry, c'était la huitième et dernière étape du Dauphiné, il y a quelques semaines, mesdames et messieurs, la team Ineos Yeah Allez, allez, allez Si il faut d'appeler, je peux le faire dans 
2019 betreft. Ook van de uitbreiding de gele truit dragen. Sorry, Thomas is eraan begonnen. Want ze hebben met Jacob Vogelsang natuurlijk iemand met steile ambities voor het eindklassement in de Tour 2019. Zometeen het officiële startmoment en het applaus voor het Astana as well. He is the reigning Swiss national road racing champion, finishing sixth on the stage in Chopiri, Sebastian Reichenbach. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Groupama FDG! Yeah! <laughs> about when they passed me and then when I got to the top of that little hill up there the next as soon as they crested the hill the next guy pulled off and rotated through short pulls short pulls for a team time trial not a rotating pace line short pulls <laughs> Okay, it's 3.05 and 30 seconds, so we should be... Yep, there's the flashing lights at the top of the hill. sur le Tour de France, double vainqueur d'étape, Dan Martin Et tout le collectif de la France, c'est parti donc Deux grote top dans la tête, ploeg, Richie Ports Allez, allez, allez Il est là begonnen met zijn ploeggenoten van de ploeg Trek. Sur les Champs-Élysées, c'est Christophe Laporte! 
L'équipe Cofidis Solution Crédit. De Franse Vloog Cofidis heeft zich in beweging gezet. Met Mansi Dienbak, met Steven Cummings, met Rijn King. Et c'est tout Bruxelles qui accompagne les champions de la formation. Bling, 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 bling. Dans zijn tweede tour toe is nationaal kampioen op de weg geworden, heel recent in Oostenrijk. Was ze zeven bij drie keer het Wevelgem, zes keer groen in de tour. Een heel speciale pas ook heel graag voor Peter Sagan. La formation pour... au Tour de France, lui qui avait remporté les 4 jours de Dakar, qu'il porte le maillot jaune de leader parrainé par MCL, Mike Tennyson Pretty good. The shell, Justin. 
Tell yeah. me about the shell real quick. Camino de Santiago goes all the way through Spain. It's a pilgrimage and you follow the shell. There's one right there. Apparently I'm going to see a ton in Barcelona. That's so cool. Thanks, Justin. Oh, by the way, I had dinner with these guys. Woo! It's great. We're going to buy a yellow jersey and then obviously get a waffle. Most important thing. Obviously. Oh, snap. Yeah, that one's all for me. Go big or go home. <laughs> well, this is cool. Very nice. Woo. Super cool. Lots of little shops. Side note. The uh, child size polka dot jerseys were 10 euro less, so I saved money. But I got my polka dot jersey and so excited! Yeah. What a day, what a day. It has been an awesome day. A uh, very long day. I just got back. I've been out for about 10 hours or so. Um, it was so awesome to be able to meet up with Justin and Karina and Dan and Beth to eat dinner and have dessert and just walk around. It was super, super fun to hang out with people that I know. Um, so now I just need to get all of this crap packed up, get a shower, and get ready to fly to Barcelona in the morning. So this second week is coming to a close and I'm ready for the next week. This is a Tour de France perfume sample. Very fancy. So yeah. Signing off, see you in Barcelona.